Hey, here I am to compare dog psychology to human psychology to you. Of course, dreams are described, so there's no definitive proof they dream. Although there's been clips of it, dogs seem much too naturally alert to tell if they dream. The best documentations of dog psychology have been through innate body language, vocal language, and smell language. Yeah, you heard me right. Smell language. First of all, a way that we could identify dog body language is that you've probably seen your dog staring at you either standing up or sitting down while staring at you eating your food. This is your dog trying to manipulate you. I'm sure you think nothing of it other than begging. All animals have the body language that staring into your eyes is their attempt to be dominant. Stare back! Give them a mean look! I understand that sounds mean to your dog. Dogs have been trained to take discipline, obviously. This is where you set your ground. Back to identifying dog body language. This may seem hard to understand because to us staring into someone's eyes is formal and appropriate. But a way to feel that it's inappropriate is when someone disciplining you is staring into your eyes. Their eyes suddenly seem much more beady than usually. How is this possible? It's a natural sign of dominance that even now is hard to get out of humanity's perceptions. Just one example that we aren't as different to animals as we think. Culture shrouds or catch-ups many instincts we naturally have by making them into something else, giving the impression that we are naturally civil. Next is posture. This might be hard to see, but even people have it. Not conveyed in terms of why dogs perform these poses, but are slightly similar in reasoning and in shapely congruency. Easy to identify postures are based on how high a dog's head is raised in normal calm times, such as when they look around standing up. Tail wagging isn't happiness, it's a way to show a dog's alertness or excitement. Excitement isn't positive as people always make it out. The tail is also a large focus of if you were to listen to the highs and lows of someone's tones and speech, or when they use their hands as they talk. Hands is also speculated in psychology to be one of those Adam and Eve languages. If the tail is straight up, that is a sign of expecting dominance. If the tail is straight out behind, they are calm or content. If the tail is lowered or tucked, they feel fear, insecurity, or have recently been dominated. A way of comparing this to talking and hands is a good old rule your folks told you. Don't point your finger at anyone. Why did they teach you that? Where does pointing fingers become offensive? Like where could it have been derived from? It's nowhere like where we've been taught, like nobody ever pointed fingers before, so why would it be offensive? It's body language with talking with hands. Next you have palm side up and palm side down. And then a little something in between in which a meme has been made. Aliens. Palm side up is actually a submissive version of basically if you were to order someone with a stern voice. Using that positioning of the hands makes it sound like a stern question, which is weird. Palm side down is commanding. Ever wondered how far Hitler would get if his sign of Heil Hitler was palm side up? Palm side down is commanding, or a way of showing social dominance in social events, mostly group conversations. The mating call is simplified. We don't have one. We woo our women by doing things that they like to see in men. Such things today are dancing, rapping, singing, athletics, mathematics, and definitive manneristics. Back to the neutral hand gestures. Our hands go neither side up or down. It obviously shows neutrality. Dogs show neutrality by sitting down. They can easily get back up or lay down as well. They won't do either until one can make sure that's the right action. Pointing fingers is just rude and insultive. There isn't any tail comparison with such hand gesture except maybe a growl. Ever had someone edit in a pointing at you picture and not liked it and wanted it gone? I wondered why I wanted it gone other than that really used up aliens meme. I had watched a few videos on dog psychology and hand gestures long ago. I won't be able to give the sources because it's like the lost memory of not knowing which textbook was in your second grade math class. I saw a connection. Maybe not on everything, but hey, 
that shows that ancestor before wolves and humans came around had founded these naturally built-in phonics. Posture is also quite simplified. Someone with a puffed out chest is showing confidence. If their tail is wagging or not straight up, they are conceited. If their tail is calmly behind them, but not moving, they are collected. It's harder to identify human postures, especially since there is personality and culture mixed in. People act differently, and it's all not defined through culture. We can agree that having a broad posture and purposefully looking large is a sign of confidence and open-mindedness, while looking small and slumped is purposefully used to say ignore me as if it's printed on your forehead in red. I believe we're fairly connected to dogs, not in physical ways, but deep down it's instinctual. Oh yeah, couldn't do anything about that buzzy background noise, sorry about that.